Hi Sagittarius and thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind my readings are general, may or may not resonate, so take what does, leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus signs for more insight and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys would like to book a personal with me, everything that you need will be down in the comment box listed below. Let's get some energy for you guys. I don't even know where to start. Maybe I should start off by just getting some um, general information from you guys from Spirit and Source. Not through cards, but just through intuition. I keep hearing, what are you going through? I have been called to pick up these cards first. Spirit, tell me what Sagittarius is currently going through. A lot. Okay, a lot. Sagittarius, what's going on? Um, my... Um, a rising sign is Sagittarius. I haven't, well, I have been going through a lot, but it's been more relationship and job than anything. Or love, I should say. There is no fucking relationship. Let's see. Yep, the daughter romance in reverse. You guys, it's like, where's the love? Give me one more. One more. What is going on with Sagittarius? What's going on with Sagittarius? Hostilities in reverse. Okay, so you're pissed at somebody. Yep, appreciate. Ooh, the first thing that came to mind is that song by Beyonce, The Best Thing You Never Had. There was a time I thought that you did everything right. Okay, so, but then, oh, I'm, I'm hearing the break of the song was like, there was a time when I thought that I always love you, but you showed your ass, and baby, yes, I saw the ring of you. Thank God you blew it. Okay, so you're you're done with somebody, and you're not even mad about it. It's like you know what? Fuck you. Goodbye. Thank you for the lesson, but get the fuck on now. Okay, <laughs> Sagittarius. All right. Knight of Pentacles could have been a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, somebody who took their time moving their fucking feet. This person could have dragged their feet. I feel like this person was hopping around with them hoes. Okay, this person, mm-hmm, justice. Ooh, karma. Karma. Death to side, bitches. Okay, karma is coming for whoever this person is who may have took their time. Okay, tell me more. The fuck? The hangman for keeping you waiting. For being stagnant, still with you. Somebody who was probably being frank with you. This is somebody who was not giving you any more than you deserve. Wait a minute. Okay. All right. Because I was like, what the fuck do you mean? Not giving you any more than what you deserve in a sense that this person wasn't giving you anything because this was not what you deserve, period. You, This person wasn't for you. They, they didn't know what the fuck they were supposed to give you. And I don't feel like they could give you what the fuck you deserved. Yeah, this was a very cold, detached energy. I feel like this person is very apologetic for what they did or they're sorry. They may not want to tell you that they're sorry. I get the energy of wanting to turn their eye to the fact that they need to apologize to you. So if you were wondering if you were going to get an apology from this motherfucker, it's a no. Okay, they know they were wrong. I feel like they are sorry, but this person may be a bit stubborn. Yeah. There was somebody else here that they were obsessing about. Somebody who, you know, they were all in their feels about. And they kind of left you on hold. And they didn't even tell you what the fuck was going on. Because I almost get the energy if you would have been hurt, if you would have known. But at least you would have knew. This person kept you in the dark about some shit. What's behind the devil? Yeah, the death card. But guess what? Whatever they were obsessive about came to an end. <laughs> That's that karma kicking in. Okay, so tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me what was the energy for Sagittarius. No, matter of fact, we don't want to stick on this. We want to go to wherever we're supposed to go next. So give me more energy for Saggies. More energy for Saggies. The star card. We're in the middle, middle of a healing process and an awakening at the same time. I feel like you're starting to not only understand things about other people, but understand things about yourself. You may be putting yourself on some sort of a pedestal at this point. It's like you know what you deserve and what you don't deserve. And I feel like this person also taught you shit that you don't want in life. 
how you don't want to be treated. And I feel like this is a way of you getting to know some things about yourself as well. Great energy from this person. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much for teaching me how to love myself. I feel like this is something that needed to happen. Maybe for a while, all your fucking life, you've been putting up with shit that you didn't need to put up with. But you were putting up with this shit because you didn't know no fucking better. I'm speaking to my people who may have had, you know, some sort of standards. I ain't saying you let motherfuckers run over you. But there was almost some leeway, you know, some red flags that you swept up under the rug or some shit that you put up with because... You felt like either A, they would change or they weren't that big of a deal. But I feel like those things that weren't that big of a deal for you turned into that big of a deal for you before you noticed it. It was too much to handle. So that's a lesson for you right then and there. Bitch, when that first red flag come and wave itself, get the fuck up out of there, okay? That's that energy, okay? So you're learning to, to take care of yourself, okay? To love yourself enough to say, this motherfucker don't deserve me from the very beginning. Not keep giving your energy to somebody who exhausts it, all right? Mm, this won't be a little deep. Nine of Wands, that's right, Sagittarius. I know you guys want, you know, whenever, however, to get a relationship started. But I see you being like, I'm not going to just let any and everybody just come to me anymore. You know, you're not open to all energies. I feel like maybe in the past you were just open to all energies because you was just, you know, trying to see what was out there. Now you're getting content with being alone and you almost must be saying, because I'm this is a must. With the Nine of Wands and the Justice, this is a must. You must be saying... If it doesn't make sense, if they're not telling me what the fuck I want to hear, if I don't see what the fuck I want to see in a person, I am not going to go for it. I'm not going to do it. Just, I'm not going to do it. I'm not even going to waste my time. And that is you realizing, again, things about yourself that you can put up with and what the fuck you want. Beautiful energy of setting up boundaries here after learning some shit from this person. So don't think it was a complete waste of time because it was not. It was a learning lesson for you. And I feel like you guys learned one hell of a lesson. Now, here comes the good shit. Don't think that the bad shit ain't going to come in because it is. However, you're going to see it immediately. And you're going to be like, nope, not for me. Okay? What did I say? Judgment. I feel like this person, whoever this individual was that you learned the lesson with, they're going to be the ones that still come back. Because the lesson's on you to learn right it's like you could be in a relationship with this individual again and you can learn more lessons again or you could say oh okay thank you so much for teaching me all that i need to know but i'm out the ball is in your court at this point but just know that this person is just a karmic okay this person is just a karmic yeah this is somebody who was sent to you for you again to assess your boundaries and i feel like again here they are knocking at your door knocking at your energy to get you to see whether or not you really learned the lesson and you like oh god i don't need no more lessons but do you do you care about this motherfucker more than you care about yourself can this person come in and push those very boundaries that you set up the last time that they hurt you? Because they're the reasons why you had it. Ten of Pentacles. There's a feeling here of you still wanting this person because of some stability that they... It was an illusion, first of all. I'm just going to let you know that. But there was something that this person either told you or a way that they made you feel that you felt like this could be the person for me forever but it was always an illusion i don't know whether or not they gave you this illusion i almost sense that the way they made you feel puts you in this illusion by yourself they didn't never tell you that this is what they were going to give you but this may have been what you felt like they were going to offer you mm. okay well any other energies? Anything else that I need to tell? Saturdays? I'm going to get a quick story in for you guys. But I just want to get all the, the you know, energies of what spirit may want to tell you. Messages before I get into the story. All right, spirit. So tell me. Any more messages for Sagittarius? All right. There we go. 
the lovers okay so there could be a gemini involved it's just a very deep connection this is all about connecting to spirit Ooh, spirit said connect with them more often you need to start talking to your, your spirit guides as opposed to talking to um random people i heard or talking to someone or people or what is this The lovers, the four of pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. You need to have a talk with spirit more often about uh, situations that you hold on to or situations that you go through by yourself. Because it's almost the energy of you being this. I don't know whether it's, it's one person in particular. There's a man here who would like for you to speak to them. This is someone who passed on. But somebody here wants to wants you to put your trust or your faith in them because they want to see you do better. They want to see you do good. But I'm almost getting the energy. This could be a father. Some of you guys' fathers passed on, grandfather, somebody that you're close to. It could be an uncle. This person wants you to connect with them more on a spiritual level. They want you to know that they're here for you. Okay? And, and I feel like this person tries to talk to you sometimes at nighttime. Sometimes when you're in the bath or the shower. Um, because water is clear, is clarifying and purifying. I feel like this is the best time when you hear or you can speak to this person. I feel like some of you guys are crying in a shower. This is getting deep. Um, somebody here who's passed on wants you to listen to them. Okay. I feel like there are some answers here that they're trying to give you that you hear, but you push to the back burner. Maybe you, you don't necessarily uh i heard one to hear he said okay slow down this is somebody that curses too they said you don't want to hear this shit maybe a drinker but anyways you you don't like to hear what they have to say but this person is trying to to talk to you to let you know because they can see everything that you can't see all right or whatever okay all right get out of here get out, get out of my ear all right, so anyways, move forward. Tell me more about what we need to tell um, Sagittarius. Yo, this person just wants you to know because they're, they're here and they're yelling. Listen, I like just talk to them. Talk to them, they listen. Don't ever feel like you don't have anybody to talk to or like you need a motherfucker. This is this person talking. I'm reiterating what they're saying. They're there for you, okay? Ooh, child. Right. They're upset that you feel like you need somebody to talk to or you need somebody or you don't have anybody. They're very upset about that because you're not alone, okay? Um, any more messages from spirits? Any more messages from spirits for Sagittarius? The Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to turn in your favor if you've been feeling down and out or in the dumps or feeling like there's nobody here for you. Yeah, the high priestess, this again, this is spiritual as fuck. You may have known all along that shit was going to turn in your favor, but I feel like you almost felt like it wasn't going to happen because it wasn't happening. You may have felt like you were on some type of cycle or something where shit was just going wrong. Six of Cups, it's because of your past. It could have been something that happened in your childhood. You may be used to shit just not going your way. Um... You could be very stubborn about certain situations that you need to um, stop holding on to. Or you could be stubborn about uh, things that happened to you in the past. Maybe you're not seeing things from a perspective that you need to see them from. I feel like you are the type, some of you are the type of individuals who think shit is happening to you and not for you. This is almost you praying and asking God, why do you keep allowing this to happen to me? This is not happening to you, it's happening for you. Okay, Spirit wants you to know that. Okay. Okay, so let's get, let's get a love reading going. Oh shit. Y'all over here going the fuck through it. All right. Remember, it's retrograde, okay? We're more emotional than normal. Spirit, tell me what's going on with Sagittarius and love. What's going on with Sagittarius and love? What's going on with Sagittarius and love? Um, heart to heart conversation is showing up in the reverse. So you and somebody need to talk, but are not talking right now. 
engagement, but they want to talk to your ass. Flirt. But see, this motherfucker right here. Here we go. Let go of control issues. So, okay. Mmm, interesting. Let's see what the blockages are. What are the blockages? We're going to save these cards for later. What are the blockages? Blockages for Sagittarius. All right, that one wanted to come out in reverse, but I am going to see what's at the bottom of the deck now. Abundance. Okay, so the block is abundance. Keeping a positive mindset. Uh, didn't I tell you some of y'all is like, why is this happening to me? Feeling like, oh my God, you know. Somebody wants to talk to you, but I don't feel like you want to talk. All right, you don't have shit to say. You feel like this motherfucker is very flirty. All right, I'm getting Page of Wands energy. They just... They may just be somebody who you're trying to have lighthearted connection with and you trying to talk heavy, all right? And this person, you may deem this person as not being able to give you what you're looking for, but okay. Moving forward. Spirit, tell me what's going on. What is going on, Spirit? What Sagittarius, all right? The Emperor. Could be an Aries here. I got that energy. But uh, somebody here is trying to be in control, all right it could be you could be this person let's see it's you you're trying to be in control of your destiny here and it's crazy because it says let go of control issues under here you're trying to be in control of your destiny you are almost like dead set on having somebody who is going to be the one and only it's like your next relationship has to be your best relationship and the only relationship you're going to have moving forward and i love the fact that you're serious about being in a relationship but let's be real you can't control what the fuck a next person does so you have to learn to just go with the flow here with the high priestess you may already feel like something or someone here could be the one or you're looking for that and you feel like the next person is going to be the one because you ain't going to play no games. But you can't control that. 